Okay, so wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. Two things na ginawa ko sa aking tablet para mas ma-optimize siya for working, no? Um, if you will be using it as a backup um, sa, sa inyong work. So, number one um, is we need to adjust the dis uh, display size. So, to do that, punta tayo sa settings. So, sa settings natin, punta tayo ng, scroll down malang punta ka ng additional settings. Then, punta ka sa accessibility. Okay? So, sa accessibility, punta ka sa, number one, sa vision. Okay? So, sa vision, display size, yan. So, display size, we have this three option. Uh, of course, yung, by default, uh, ang makikita natin is the small one. So, you have to put it into extra small. Okay? So, that way, yung ating screen, um, hindi siya i-consume ng, ng font style na, ng font size na malalaki. No? Uh, mas parang mag-zoom out yung screen natin. So, when we do that, um, extra small na display size. Okay, so make sure lang you save it. Click mo tong check dito. And as you will notice, dito sa aking cursor, no, I am using a pointer. So, sa hindi pa nakakaalam, paano ba ito gagawin? So, all you have to do is, so balik tayo. Again, additional settings, accessibility, tapos dito naman tayo sa physical. Okay, sa physical na tab, punta ka lang sa baba, ito meron tayo ditong input device. And then, large mouse pointer. Alright. So, make sure lang naka-on to. So, pag naka-off siya, of course, we will see this rounded na um, cursor. Okay? I'm not sure if it's cursor. Pero, yan, yung pointer natin is ano, uh, bilog kapag naka-off tong uh, mouse, uh, large mouse pointer. So, i-on mo lang. And as you can see, yan, meron tayong cursor. So, yan, uh, that's the two things that I wanted to share. So okay na. That's that's good. Um uh, if you wanted to do that, you can you can just follow the instruction. So just to ano lang no, uh, add as well. Ako kasi on on my work, I I am uh yung mga task ko kasi uh, more of the tools na kailangan ko is web-based lang. So wala ako masyadong app na ginagamit except for um dito sa tablet no. Uh, I'll be needing the uh, time tracking app. Yan itong ating um, time doctor so uh, we are currently using that nakaran siya and then of course um, Viber for easy communication so sa Chrome naman so yan, since yung display size natin maganda na um, it feels more like a screen ng, ng laptop or ng PC okay, so ang gagawin natin um, if you want uh, ito is regarding sa email so sa email naman po um, if if ever na required yung signature kaya sa amin na require kami na signature kapag nag email kami the problem kasi with the uh, with the uh, uh, Gmail app no sa sa tablet natin hindi natin mailagay yung images sa signature we can do the signature there na automatic na meron pero ano lang siya text based lang so for my case na kailangan yung um, correct format ng signature I am using um, the Gmail dito sa Chrome. So, to access that properly, no, ang ginagawa ko para, para maganda yung pagkakadisplay sa akin ng email. Uh, I'm not sure if you already know this, pero ganito yung ginagawa ko to make sure na na-access ko siya ng maayos sa akin tablet. So, google.com, puntahan muna natin. Okay, so makikita mo dito itong uh, nine dots na to. Okay, like a cube here. So, uh, click mo lang yan. Make sure nakalagin ka sa Gmail mo or sa account mo. Tapos, click mo itong Gmail. Okay, but before you do that, one thing pala. Click mo muna itong three dots, tapos desktop site. Make sure nakacheck yan. Okay. So, once nakacheck na yan, you can go with this. Click mo lang itong Gmail. Yan. So, mapapansin nyo... It's more feel like ano, um, you're using the PC or the laptop with your Gmail. So yeah. So for the other other um, website that you need to access sa sa work mo, um, I recommend na i-enable mo palagi tong desktop site. Okay. So that's one thing na ano uh, you can do 
para mas magamit mo na maayos yung iyong tablet for your uh, work task. So, yun lang guys. Thank you.